I'm just starting. Are you ready? I'm ready. You don't want to look at your phone the whole time? Okay. Oh, we were actually rolling. We're actually rolling. Patagonia. Patagonia. What? What? No. No. I don't like that We're at fine. All. Okay, just I'll cut from here. Okay. Okay, 10 months ago, we went on what I would say is one of the top two trips we've ever done in our entire lives, right? Yeah. We were in Patagonia for Surprise Vacation, which I would like to tell you about, but Thomas has told me everybody already knows what Surprise Vacation is, so I'm not allowed to tell you, but it was so next level. So we edited together this video, hashtag Thomas edited everything. I was just there for moral support. And if Patagonia is not on your bucket list, it it's will be. It Especially will be. if you like the outdoors and hiking. Like Anyways, check it out. It was awesome. takes forever and a day to get to. You fly all the way down to the bottom of South America to Punta Arenas, which is just where you basically land, get acclimated, and then take the drive up to Patagonia. And our first stop was the Singular Hotel, which is in Puerto, 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 Natales. Puerto Natales. It's an old uh, slaughterhouse. Is it a slaughterhouse? <laughs> yeah. That was where they sheared the sheep. No, that's where you got Okay, your, whatever yeah. it was. It used to be a slaughterhouse and they have converted it into this incredibly luxe hotel. It's pretty So rad. swanky. The cocktails are amazing. Wait till you see the room with the view. It is so next level. So when we got to our hotel, that's when we also were able to uh, meet our guide, Gonzalo. Gonzalo, Gonz he is. Who so, did we do the tour with? Yeah, so here's the thing. When I went to Patagonia probably five or six years ago with the crew, we went through Quasar, which is a travel organization. You get Jeeps and you can either have a guided tour of Patagonia or you can just take the Jeeps and do a self-guided tour. Honestly, it's one of the cooler travel like experiences we've ever done. And when you use a guide, you kind of, they know their way. So you get to travel very efficiently and they take you to see all the best things and they're just a wealth of knowledge. And one of the things to do in Puerto Natales is to head over to, to the Estancia. Estancia La Peninsula. Estancia. Estancia La Peninsula. Yeah. It's basically this huge ranch. It's an estancia ranch. on a peninsula. It's an estancia. <laughs> estancia on a peninsula. <laughs> you can ride horses. Well, the dope thing about this particular estancia, they do, right? I like, yeah. They have all white horses. Beautiful oh, yeah. horses, and it's run by a bunch of gauchos. Like, legit gauchos. Yeah. We galloped. We galloped. Which I haven't done since I was a, hor I was a professional equestrian as a child. <laughs> okay. And figure skater. <laughs>
so stop number two on the trip. We went into the park. Torres del Paine. And we stayed at... Tierra Patagonia. Tierra Patagonia, which, which is beautiful. The hotel looks like a spaceship. But this hotel is situated right in the park and it's right on the lake. So you have these incredible views and you can watch the weather change like out of your window at all times of the day. So there are a bunch of different hikes in the park. Mm -hmm. Also took a boat out to check out the glacier. Lago Glacier Gray, Gray yeah. Glacier. Funny story behind our boat trip to the glacier. What? So we were a little late at walking to the boat. They're like the boats over on this lake and we got to walk like a 15 minute walk to get there. It was 30. Yeah, third, maybe 30 minute walk. And the boat was leaving in 10 minutes. So they put us in a small pontoon boat. Yeah, we basically across the lake. found some strangers to take us out to the boat on another boat. It was very hitchhiker of us, which is not a the typical Dalkin Gubby, <laughs> Gubby was a little cold. Freeze, you'll see. Yeah. So one of the things you'll notice like in the park is every day you basically get all four seasons. Yeah. Like spring, summer, winter, fall. Like it's crazy. The weather just changes on a dime. So like one minute it'll be snowing and then the next minute the sun's out. go to Torres del Paine and do one thing and one thing only. Base of the tower. You gotta do the base of the towers hike. It's like an eight to nine hour hike. It's eight hours. And it's aggressive like and you you're in the forest for some of it you're tr climbing up rock you're like bracing the crazy wind. Winds get gnarly because you're on the edge of cliffs and it's literally like Honestly, 90 to 100 mile an hour winds. I felt like we were in Lord of the Rings trying to get to Mordor with the ring and like break, he does, Thomas doesn't watch Lord of the Rings, he doesn't understand this comparison, but like we had to go through all these different things to get to the top to Dumbledore where we were going. Dumbledore helped us though. No, that's the wrong movie. But it was, honestly, it was the best hike ever. Did help us out? <laughs> <laughs> we saw dragons. Keep going. <laughs> Documenting the start of the trip. Everybody's in good spirits. We're down a Dalkin. We've got mom, dad, Yo. me, Thomas, and Anya's at the spa. <laughs> We're hiking up there. 
over there. It's behind the clouds. You can't see it, but it's see, an eight hour see hike. See you in nine hours. 21 Gabby kilometers. likes adding an hour to everything to make like it sound know, more dramatic. I'd like to know how long I'll be going 20, for. 21 kilometers. How long I'll be without my phone. Everyone's in good spirits now. Let's see how that <laughs> is in 30 minutes. You're going to do an eight hour hike. You want to have views like this. This is Thomas's guide to Torres del Paine. All right, one mile check-in. Gabby realized she forgot a hair tie, so she's got this really cool mask now. Everybody's dropping layers. Can I take my beard off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one mile check-in, how do you feel? I feel good. Mark, check in. How's everyone doing? Great. Gabby, two miles in an hour. Not bad. Checkpoint one, uh, 86 minutes, 2.85 miles. Time to get some snacks. Happy mile four check in. Huh? Mile four check in. How do you know? My watch. How you doing? Good. You look even better. You and me both. Look at this hair. All right, here's the last stretch. Got you ready? I can, I can wear this as like a bikini or a tube yeah. top and a headband. I'm really yeah. living my best. The last life. little bit. Last Thomas, one. Let me see what the back looks like. All right. Is this Very. Is it dumb? So this last part of the trek up to the summit is the hardest part. Straight up, one mile over rocks. Gabby. She's back there. We got this. are gonna pass once we get up there. Right? Right. He said so. <laughs> All right. We just made it to the top and it was 100% worth it. Check this out.
last push to the finish. Mile and a half left. Almost home. Less than half a mile. How you feeling, Gabby? East Coast hours. Yeah, 2,000 calories minimum burn. There it is. Oh, I've never been so happy. How do you feel? Like I can't feel my feet and I need a Peace Go Sour and a jacuzzi. How good would an in and out burger be right now? Oh, two. Double double. Animal style, protein style, and animal style fries, and all the ketchup. All right. Our totals, seven hours and 10 minutes of walking time. Distance covered 12.83 miles, 2,005 active calories, 2,651 total calories. Average pace, 33 minutes, 34 seconds. Elevation, 5,603 feet climbed. Done. So, after we spent some time in the park, it was time to take this party from Chile. To Argentina. To Argentina and explore the... Argentinian. Argentinian side. Yeah. Of Patagonia. Patagonia. So, we got over there. Mm -hmm. We went to... Do you remember what the hotel was called? I don't, but it was another... Oh, Iolo. 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 It was another epic hotel. And actually, the food at Iolo... Was probably the best. Was the best. Fruit. Steak there. The, the wine. Argentinian yeah. steak. Drunk one night. Like, it was so good. Everything was, was, uh, was epic. But the big highlight of that trip, we did some more horseback riding, mm -hmm. but the highlight were the glacier glaciers. trekking. Like we, we've seen a bunch of glaciers from boats before, but we've never been able to hike on them. Yeah. We got to hike on them. And Go back. Pretty epic, right? Well, we do actually have to epic. go. It was it was very epic. Yeah, um, I would love to go back. We're gonna do the other part of Patagonia that we didn't do next time. There's a lot. It's there's a lot more with to Gonzalo. Do. Yeah, I mean, Gonzalo. I hope your baby's old enough to travel with us. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions, Gabby's got a whole post on it. Yeah, go check out the blog. Put it on your bucket list. It is not to be missed.